Today, we are going to be reacting on one of the craziest videos you ever watch on the internet. Massive dam failures caught on camera. This is where human engineering meets the power of nature. Along the way, I'll pause the video and react on it. So let's get right in. Dam failures rank among the most terrifying technological disasters because they occur suddenly and their effects can impact vast areas. One such unexpected incident was the dam failure in Stronoszlowski, Poland, a town with a population of 6,000. One Sunday morning in the fall of 2024, the earthen dam collapsed, unleashing water in a chaotic flood. The breach led to a rapid flooding of the city and nearby towns. As often happens, this sudden event caused chaos and uncertainty. Some residents who couldn't evacuate on their own had to be rescued by helicopters. It was later revealed that there was no radio communication available at the dam to issue a warning about the breach. Thanks to a fortunate turn of events, the flooding didn't have any tragic results, but it highlighted the need for a more responsible approach to these kinds of structures. The dam failure at the Mount Polly tailing storage facility marked a significant environmental disaster. Mount Polly was an operational gold and copper mine located in northern British Columbia, Canada. On August the 4th, 2014, the dam experienced a catastrophic breach, releasing 25 million cubic meters of water mixed with toxic mining waste into nearby lakes and rivers. According to the findings of the investigating commission, Look at this, a whole town of 6,000 people, almost wiped out in minutes. The scariest thing, they had no warning system. Imagine sleeping peacefully, then suddenly, Helicopters have to rescue you because the dam gave way. This is the danger of overtrusting technology without backup communication systems. It shows why early warning infrastructure is just as important as the dam itself. Troubling example of how careless management of natural resources can lead to severe and long term impacts on both people and the ecosystem. Lake Texoma, located on the border between Oklahoma and Texas, is one of the largest reservoirs in the US, covering an impressive 360 square kilometers. It was created by the Denison Dam, built in 1943, and is primarily fed by the Red River of the South and the Washita River. The main purpose of the dam and lake is to protect the region from annual floods. In addition, Texoma provides water supply, generates electricity, and helps manage the rivers. Still, managing such a massive water body comes with its challenges. In 2015, Texas made headlines worldwide as rising waters triggered a wave of anomalies and destruction. Roads were submerged and some even washed away, while the Denison Dam spillway turned into a dangerous whirlpool. Fortunately, the locals, accustomed to living by the water, managed to cope with the disaster through courage and mutual support. At times, a dam breach turns into a large-scale geological catastrophe. This was the case at a jade mine in the Herpacant area of Myanmar. The dams at these processing plants surround tailing ponds that hold the leftover waste from mining. These types of structures frequently become sources of environmental hazards, particularly when production regulations are ignored. The footage shows how a small landslide leads to a full-scale dam failure. Now this is this one hits differently. 
it wasn't just water. This was toxic mine waste. 25 million cubic meters of contaminated sludge flooding rivers. That is like poisoning nature itself. Even years later, scientists still find dangerous metals in the soil and water. So it is not just a short-term disaster, it becomes a generational one. For me, this shows the hidden cost of mining and poor regulation. Eyewitnesses recorded the moment when one of the dams at the Sardoba Reservoir in Uzbekistan collapsed. The reservoir is a major water infrastructure project, spanning roughly 60 square kilometers and reaching depths of up to 28 meters. Built in 2017 for irrigation and power generation, it suffered a catastrophic failure in 2020. The breach resulted in the flooding of 610 square kilometers of land, forcing the evacuation of several tens of thousands of residents. Investigations revealed that the collapse was caused by errors in the project plans and oversights during the construction phase. A large-scale project meant to enhance the quality of life in the region turned into a tragic disaster. The Tyne Arch Dam is a magnificent and stunning part of the hydroelectric complex located in the Auvergne Rhone Alp region of France. Built in the early 1950s, it forms a reservoir that holds 235 million cubic meters of water and covers almost three square kilometers. Despite its impressive size, this giant often finds it difficult to handle the impacts of climate change. See the white pool forming. That is terrifying. Nature basically turned the spillway into a giant blender. What is impressive, though, is the community resilience. You know, Texas, we are used to dealing with water and support set each other through the crisis. Sometimes the strength of people is the only thing that keeps disaster from becoming tragedies. Of water. This is a clear example of how grid destroys safety. A simple last slide triggered a chain of reaction. Why? Because regulations weren't followed, you see? Tailing ponds from mines are some of the most unstable dams on Earth. And when they collapse, it's not just water. It's toxic sludge that ruins everything around. Look at this. A project built to improve life. Irrigation, electricity ended up displacing tens of thousands. Why? Because of poor planning and short cuts during construction. This is where corruption or lack of oversight literally ruins lives. Jar is not just about building, it's about building safety. <laughs>